So, hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Runde Genshin Impact. Heute nehmen wir Siraj's Versteck, glaube ich, hops. Zumindest fühlt sich das so an. Und das wird heißen, wir werden einen C3 Al Haven spielen. Das ist so well hidden. But there's nothing spooky about it. Hmm. Let's go inside and take a look. <lacht> Definitiv. So, die Höhle. Genau, empfohlen ist Dendro. Ich werde alle helfen bewusst jetzt nicht mitnehmen, weil ich glaube, dann bin ich einfach nur confused. Ich bin mir aber nicht sicher. Na gut, aber wir haben ja ja dabei im Zweifel. Wir können ja stattdessen. Habe ich irgendjemanden als Main DPS dabei? Ich, ich figure kurz mal meine. Leute raus. So, vielleicht? Ich meine, ja, jetzt habe ich zwei Healer dabei, aber Bennett ist in meinem Fall mehr Booster als Healer. Und es sei nur als Main DPS. Ich, ich denke, das ist in Ordnung, falls wir jetzt Alhaifim wieder erwarten, doch nicht bekommen. Ja. Oh, das ist aber schlecht. Jetzt habe ich niemanden, der Electro Attribute Dings kann. Ich, ich ja, ich bin, ich bin gleich nochmal wieder da. So, ich, ich mache es jetzt einfach so. Dann haben wir als zusätzlichen, Anführungszeichen, Booster äh, Thomas dabei. Ähm, weil sein Schild mit der C6 den Standangriff verstärkt. Er ist jetzt nicht wirklich gebaut, muss ich ehrlich sagen. Aber es wird schon gehen. Außerdem ist es eine Story Quest. Ich denke mal, da wird eh nicht viel passieren. Also kein krasser Abyss-Fight auf äh, Ebene 12 oder so. Are you sure it's still a work in progress? Ilias, do you remember this place? Uh, huh? Uh, Ilias? Where did he go? Hmm. Gute Frage. I don't sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should we wait here or turn around and look for him? There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Sollen wir wirklich alle einfach so alleine rumlaufen lassen? Ich meine, der hat übel das Trauma von der Höhle. Okay, Akasha. It's okay, Ilyas. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Everyone knows what's going on. Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, that'd be the end of the project. Too many people would be affected. But he's obviously taking advantage of you. He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research data and takes credit for it. That's not right! Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not say anything, and I think they have a point. This is just how things are. All I want is to graduate without any problems. <sighs> It's okay. He's at least paying me. Half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 mora. He's treating people like cattle. Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. What's the matter? Hm. Ich scheine Idias Vergangenheit gesehen zu haben. Huh? You could read minds this whole time and you never told Paimon? Of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilias was connecting to the collective consciousness. Hmm. Connecting collective consciousness. It's clear that this place isn't a work in progress. The hive has long been finished. 
The Collective Consciousness project is already complete, and Ilias is now returning to the Collective. Hat Ilias uns hintergangen? Not entirely. Keep walking and you'll see why. Ach, schön, dass du die Lösung des Rätsels schon weißt. Willst du uns das nicht mitteilen oder so? Vielleicht? Oh. Okay. Lass mich raten, ich darf... Ja, dann nicht durch. Ist hier noch was? Ja, es, es gibt ja immer äh, Truhen hier in der Sphäre. Also ich habe jetzt schon mit krasseren Rätseln. Ehrlich gesagt gerechnet. Was bringt es, wenn ich da jetzt den Schlüssel hineinlege? Außer, dass die andere Wand aufgeht. Gar nichts. Okay. Ah. Jetzt weiß ich auch, warum ich das brauche. So, aber jetzt habe ich nicht beide Schlüssel auf meiner Seite. Kann ich hier den aufmachen? Das hier. Und weiter geht's. So, dann schauen wir mal. Here you are. Ich muss sagen, ich bin positiv überrascht, weil mein Alhaitham tatsächlich ähm, ähnlich gut unterwegs ist. Ich glaube, die Talente sind auch noch nicht so hoch. Ja. Genau. Ich habe auch schon die Waffe und. Okay, das ist halt, ne, also das ist halt ein bisschen sad, dass er jetzt auf Noblesse ist. Naja. Ich glaube, hätten die ein gescheites Artefakt-Set gegeben, wäre es besser. Oh, da ist hier noch einer. There is no escape. Check this out. Don't be scared. <lacht> Ich bin froh, dass man jetzt wenigstens einen richtigen Kampf hatte. Ich erinnere mich noch richtig traurig an Ayatos Legendenauftrag. Wo man irgendwie nur so gefühlt zwei Sekunden... Ja, wo man gefühlt nur zwei Sekunden Ayato spielen durfte. Und das war's dann. Und man hatte sonst wirklich nichts zu tun. Es war einfach nur reiner Dialog, der zwar echt interessant war, <laughs> Contributing to the collective by only thinking to your strengths. How easy. Yep. Schade, ich dachte, man konnte noch mal mit ihm reden. Oh, hate them. Just thinking of that name fills me with hatred. We must get rid of him. Oh, I'll hate them as beliebt wie eh und je. Ja gut, aber macht Sinn, wenn er jetzt so offen gegen dieses Projekt vorgeht und dass dir dieses kollektive Bewusstsein ist. Es ist ja klar, dass Siraj dann einen richtigen Hass auf al hat, weil wir werden das hier wohl oder übel beenden. So, jetzt dürfen wir auch wieder raus. Noch eine Erinnerung? An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? Do you have any idea how many people you brought down? You could have played Hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? It's a shame. What happened to him? I, I thought he was stronger than that. Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer. 
But he chose now of all times to... In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the Matra are putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, needed this project to complete their studies? Now our futures are up in the air. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. Do you understand now? I'm sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay for this. Ich glaube, wir wollten nur das Richtige machen. Hey, you're blinking out again. What did you see this time? Elias. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. Save your words for when we see him. Auch wieder war. Wer weiß, ob wir alles gesehen haben. So, mag hier nochmal gucken. Darf ich hier rein? Ja. Okay. Oh, oh, was haben die denn da auf? Ist das dieses äh, Gerät? Das sieht ja cool aus. Also ich meine, es ist nicht cool. Ich hätte, glaube ich, auch keine Lust auf so ein Collective, kollektives Mind-Ding. Es klingt so creepy, ne? Überlegt mal, ihr habt dann irgendwie so gar keinen freien Willen mehr. Und eure Kapazität, würde ich jetzt mal sagen. Darf ich zwei mitnehmen? Ja. Na guck. Bist du total fertig, der... Sie? Er? Er? Er, glaube ich. Sie ist nicht gescheit. Na, und ihr seid einfach nicht mehr ihr selbst. Das, also, euer Kopf gehört nicht mehr euch. Da das da ist, denke ich mal, werde ich es auch brauchen. Das war der Sinnpalmer, danke. Ach stimmt, ich hätte ja gleich beide mitnehmen können. So. This is all very strange. Is there really no research group that will take you? Well, to pass this course, you must complete a paper with other researchers. I know you're a hero for fighting academic fraud, but well, we can't make exceptions for heroes, now can we? Maybe you should try to improve your relationship with the other researchers. Huh? Getting a reputation for being too unconventional will not stand you in good stead in the long run. I understand. <sighs> you seem troubled. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Siraj. Siraj? I've heard of you before. Do you need something from me? Mm, the world hates people who don't fit in. I imagine you've had your fair share of trouble. After you reported Johnny for academic fraud, you are ostracized and shunned. Even your family can't understand your actions. However, I'm working on some research that will help you merge into a collective. That way, your life won't be so dolorous. How about it? Wanna have a go? What did you see? Oh nein. Die haben ihn voll... Oh nein, die haben ihn voll ausgenutzt. Er wurde nicht gezwungen. Paimon can't believe it! He really did trick us! Mm -mm. That Giga Jerk! No, Siraj is the real Giga Jerk here! Ilias is just a regular jerk! Ooh, Paimon's so mad! We're gonna find him and we're gonna make him explain himself! Das ist auch richtig übel. Er hat einfach das Richtige gemacht und die halt äh, angezeigt, dass das halt so nicht richtig ist. 
Und alle haben ihn dafür gehasst. Also selbst die Leute, die nicht mal damit zu tun hatten. You've come. I intentionally slowed my integration into the collective consciousness because I wanted to see you one last time as Ilias. And I wanted to apologize to you as him. It was only at Gondarvaville that the second thing I must do occurred to me. Bring you all here. To throw off the Matra and bring Alhatham to the Hive. That was my task as Siraj number 36. You, you were already Siraj number 36? But you passed the Matra's lie detector test! Yes, I truly did forget many things during that time, even my identity and assigned responsibilities. However, it's not that I got scared and forgot. I chose to delete those memories. It's difficult to fool Alhatham, so I had to create the perfect guise for myself. And the best guise is when you believe your own lies. Correct. I only told you that the Hive was incomplete because I had deleted my memories of its completion. Oh, nein. It was finished a long time ago. Before I left, I was already living as number 36. Now, I choose to return to that identity. Only here can I be truly free. Also entweder haben die That's den all I wanted to say. After I enter this room, my consciousness will merge back into the collective. And so, this is goodbye. Also entweder haben die den schon so weit manipuliert, dass der das wirklich glaubt. Oder es ist halt, also es ist schwierig. Ich habe halt irgendwie immer noch das Gefühl, dass er halt ein Opfer ist von der ganzen Sache. Na, weil er halt unbedingt mit dazugehören wollte und so viel Ablehnung erfahren hat, nachdem er das Richtige gemacht hat. Weil sich ja auch seine Familie so um ihn gesorgt hat. Aber es ist richtig schwer, ob das jetzt wirklich Siraj's Ansichten sind. Oder ob das schon so weit von diesem Kollektiv manipuliert worden ist, dass er glaubt, dass das das Richtige ist. Is this your decision? Yeah. Nee, warte, Ilias, hab ich vorhin Siraj gesagt? Not Siraj number 36. The outside world is painful sometimes, but Paima doesn't think that's a reason to run away. Do you need more time to consider, Ilias? That is Siraj. So you're that Giga Jerk! Giga Jerk? Huh, how bold of you! Have I done something to offend you? You! I modified Akasha terminals to allow users to share memories and emotions. Then I recruited researchers from the academia to build a collective consciousness. I assigned numbers to everyone and divided the experiment's tasks amongst themselves. Here, people can live easily and happily without needing to exercise complex mental thought. This is what they have chosen. All I've done is fulfill their wishes. You're just trying to justify yourself. Then I ask you, what's the difference between here and the outside? There are researchers at the academia who engage in dangerous research in extreme environments while others become idle and listless. People are so obsessed with collective will that even those on the fringes will attempt to fit in after suffering setbacks. Isn't that right, Elias? <sighs> There's no need to deny this. As it is fact, it is natural for social creatures to congregate together. And the terminus of conformity is a collective consciousness through which even an ordinary bee colony can become a powerful swarm. Replace the bees with humans. And this model becomes even more potent. Welcome to the hive, Alhatham. You once arrogantly denied the merits of this project before the Grand Sage. A few simple words from you, and my research was consigned to nothingness. Of course, I'm well aware that you don't care about any of this. You don't care about the pain of others. 
But I didn't give up. I made my thesis into reality. When we arrived, I noticed many empty rooms in the hive. Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> then can you guess where their inhabitants are? The answer is the academia. They're executing another phase of the plan. Plan to install me as a sage. The collective consciousness links all of us into a single mind, showcasing our individual strengths as we work together. We are able to execute complex undertakings while instantaneously modifying our strategies in response to unexpected situations. Everything has been proceeding smoothly. You are our biggest obstacle. With you out of the way, I'll use my growing influence to turn the collective consciousness into a legitimate study. The project will snowball until ultimately everyone will be part of my hive. I... No. The hive will be in control. And it will lead the academia towards a new future. We won't let you do this! What can you achieve with mere words? You weren't even able to change Ilyas's mind. Return to the hive, number 36. Yeah, but yes. manipulierst. Wait! Don't go back! Uh, look! There are lots of people out there worried about you. And you aren't an outcast! Aren't we your friends? Yeah, we have doch geholfen. That's easy for you to say, given that you're travelers. Will you two continue to stay at the academia? When you leave, tragedy will repeat itself. Return number 36. You know as well as I do that comforting words don't make life any easier. Ilias? Why? Ja, but deine Schwester, die war you so two süß. are just as arrogant as all hate them. You think that everyone should be like you and live according to their own truths. But you don't realize that most people simply want easy lives. I allowed number 36 to leave the hive without his memories only because I knew he would eventually return. This proves that I know more about human nature than you do. All Atham, do say a word or two. I will consider them as your last. I made those words quite clear a year ago. The model you presented was extremely unstable. No amount of garish packaging will change its fragile nature. <sighs> it can't be helped. If you were clever enough to realize those problems, then you would have been aware that the hive changed when Ilias returned to this collective consciousness of yours. Oh well. That hurt. What? What's happening? The collective needs motivation to execute its plans, just as machinery requires energy to operate. That's why you, as the Overmind, synchronized your hatred of me into the Collective, prompting them to create and execute a plan to eliminate me. However, when Ilias returned to the Collective, his memories and emotions were shared with the rest of its members. This includes his perception of me. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? This contradicts the hatred you had provided them, and these two differing emotions will give rise to new conflict. So that's it! Wait, so you knew that Ilias would return to the Hive? And then you pretended to keep him around just to fool Siraj! Wouldn't expect any less from you, all Haytham. Once the collective consciousness bugs out, we'll take that opportunity to... Uh, wait, it's back to normal already? All Haytham, I told you, you're too arrogant. Did you really think that your little scheme would be enough to destabilize the hive? Ilyas's return had indeed introduced abnormal emotions into the hive, but such a meager drop cannot give rise to waves. Your struggle has been in vain, and it's time to end it. Allow me to show you what makes the collective consciousness so formidable. So many monsters! Where did they come from? And... something feels... off about them! I also integrated monsters into the Collective, 
though I rank them last. Even so, they are part of it. Despite their lack of intelligence, perfect cooperation can be achieved, much like soldiers who have undergone strict training. Now then, drown in endless waves of monsters. You, you will all pay for your ceaseless arrogance. I've already sent my gift to the Collective. It'll take some time for the recipient to receive it. You two just need to brace yourselves for the nuisance in front of us. Well, all right. Paimon doesn't know how you get so confident, but we'll hold them off for as long as we can. Yeah, good Paimon. Thank you for that help. Illusion shattered. You, Gray, you're up. Yeah. Written in the stars. Flicker. <laughs> I'll hate them. Isn't that bad of a person? But it has to be done. We must be eliminated so that we can evolve. Fire it up. Don't be scared. You see? That is the will of the Collective. Even with the hatred gone, they continue their work. An external anomaly cannot shake the Collective's stability. Hm. Don't get too close! Sehr Here's sicher, auch nichts beeindruckend. Der größte Erzfeind von mir ist gerade, dass ich einen zusätzlichen Charakter auf der 5 habe und darauf nicht klarkomme. <lacht> He won't hold out for much longer. He's a lot tougher than we imagined. Something's gone wrong with the academia. The march. The brat. What's going on? What's with this sudden influx of information? Silence! Has the Overmind, I command you! Hmm. There is no escape! Don't be scared! Decided by destiny! Torn to oblivion! How is that possible? Why hasn't it been resolved yet? Is our judgment? The will of the Corrupted cannot be wrong. The Overmind must have made an error in his judgment. But Siraj is the most intelligent among us. He is number one. His judgment is the optimal one. Is that true? No, not necessarily. Yeah, Siraj is like optimal man, no? Kein Mensch ist un unfehlbar, also keine Ahnung, was die sich da dachten. Wirklich. What have you done? Das riecht. Calm down. Don't you have an easy way to figure this out? <laughs> you were only designated as number 36. What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. What you said to Elias has now become a memory shared by all members of the Hive. I see it now! You've channeled and amplified their selfish desires! You're trying to destroy my hive from the inside out! Human minds are not infinitely pliable, and your hive has stretched many of them to their limit. Once your authority as Overmind starts to wane, it won't be long before your subjects snap back. Is it worth living here like a machine? Being a tool for the rest of my life? 
As soon as one person begins to have these thoughts, selfishness, doubt, and fear will propagate, thanks to the web of consciousness that you built. At this stage, your so-called hive has already fallen. It's not over yet. I am the Overmind. There has to be a way. It's too late. Once the desires of the Hive accumulate, beyond a certain threshold, they will kill their king. My numbers shouldn't be so far down in the list! Thrive is a lie! This isn't what we agreed to! I should be the one in your position! Genau, er funktioniert nicht mehr. What happened just now? Eine sehr coole Katze. Members of a collective consciousness are more likely to reach a consensus because of their shared memories and emotions. For example, Ilios did have differing perceptions, but he ultimately followed the collective consciousness's judgment. However, this system is far from perfect. Based on this logic, the collective consciousness will generate an intractable diffusion effect upon encountering negative emotions. Hmm. Egoistische Begierden. The disturbance that Ilias caused wasn't for naught. It made the collective question the overmind. Setbacks in the plan further amplify doubt, which diminishes the overmind's influence. This inevitably causes the collective to generate negative emotions. Apprehension, disappointment, panic, avarice. These negative emotions can be very well hidden, as humans generally do not share completely transparent channels of communication. But in the hive, where there are no secrets, negativity can spread like a tidal wave. Of course, what I said to Ilios was the trigger for all of this. A few words were enough. Believe in the power of words, Siraj. You were already thinking of a way to destroy the collective consciousness. Even back then, you knew that Ilyas was the bait all along. But how did you know? Since when? I knew it from the moment I saw him. Moreover, I never looked down on you. My opinion of you has always been objective. You have a naive view towards the concepts of collective consciousness and human evolution, but you are intelligent and disciplined. You would never let a test subject escape. Mistakes like that are beneath you, and you also won't leave any mistake without a resolution. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words come from you. But if you're saying that out of sympathy, spare me. I know very well that you've never viewed me as an equal. When you were with us, you always had a distant look in your eyes. You don't need to hide it. I know it better than anyone else. The arrogance that comes with being a genius. Nobody likes being treated like that. Your perspective is entirely born from your habitual way of looking at things. From your perspective, you probably think I'm like you. Someone who doesn't fit in. However, I've never placed myself on a pedestal. I just want to distance myself from meaningless noise and look at everything objectively. On the other hand, you have failed to come to terms with who you truly are. You care too much about winning and how others perceive you. You mean to say that I'm the arrogant one here? Is that not so? Arrogant and emotionally fragile. You view people as a simple mediocre collective, while you regard me as one of your kind. <sighs> hmm. Regardless... I have lost. You can take me back to the Academia and stand trial. You will stand trial, yes. But arresting people isn't in my job description. I'm just an ordinary staff member. I believe it is the General Mahamatra's duty to escort you away.
<laughs> Taino? What are you doing here? I followed the symbols. Looks like things have already been settled. Und wieder ein Masterplan von Alhaven. Symbols? I left a similar picture in my letter to him, and I made several similar symbols on the way here. Wait, what do you mean you left the letter? Oh, Paimon remembers! When Paimon first saw you, Arab said that you had left a letter for Sino. So you really did know that something was up with Ilias from the start! Uh, you lied to us too! It'd be best if you didn't spout nonsense. I never employed any mode of trickery on you. By the way, I came across some information at the Academia a few days ago. If you practice the method discussed therein, your vision may improve. Do you need it? <laughs> this guy. Alter. By the way, Sino, I'm a that Siraj sent more people to the Academia. We can't let those jerks get away! Don't worry. The Matra have started screening suspicious persons. And we've already arrested many of Siraj's associates. This was likely one factor that caused the Hive's consciousness to waver. Everything went as you predicted, All Haytham. Good. <laughs> Seems like the interesting part is already over. I'll leave the arrests to you all. See you. Okay. Simple wie er auch sonst. And off he goes. <sighs> There still are a lot of test subjects here, so let's stick around for a while. Ja. Na, Sino, hattest du Spaß? Okay, ich wollte eigentlich oh, no. einzeln mit denen reden. Oh no. I was involved in all these plans to get rid of the acting Grand Sage? What came over me? How could I do something like this? We were accomplices without knowing it. But I'm afraid that Alhatha might pressure the Matra into giving us heavier sentences. Whether he's the scribe or the acting Grand Sage, we can't afford to offend him. It seems our future at the Academia will be full of uncertainties. We can discuss the future later. Leaving the Collective left me with a strange sense of guilt. I didn't feel anything towards Alhatham at first, since he wasn't well known. All the opinions I heard about him were negative, though. Siraj made us hate Alhatham, and we blindly accepted that hatred and thought of him as a bad person. Hmm. From how things look, we've done a lot of irrational things. I guess we're getting what we deserve. Uh, could you help us apologize to Alhatham? Sure! help you tell all Haytham, but whether he chooses to forgive you is up to him. It's okay. It's okay. No matter what he chooses, apologizing will make us feel slightly better. If he chooses to remember this, we're prepared for our punishment. It's time to go. <sighs> Let's go. I think the most sind so, dann nur Opfer, so wie Ilias. We can ask all Hatham about that later. Hmm. Looks like I can't exist as Siraj number 36. Yet, my life as Ilias goes on. When I was at Gundarvaville, I thought about whether I should just come forward with the truth. I didn't have the courage then. So in the end, I lost my sense of justice. But I also wasn't able to conform. Ilias? Don't be sad. I'm the one who deceived you. However, I didn't come out of this completely empty-handed. The moment the hive collapsed, an idea popped into my head. I realized that the collective I was always trying to fit into wasn't as powerful as I had imagined. Understanding that gave me courage somehow. Perhaps one day I could be just like all Haytham and not care about what anyone else thinks. 
You can do it. Paimon believes in you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I should get going. I'm one of the primary suspects in the case, so I'll have to receive my due punishment. Can you keep this a secret from my parents and my sister? I just don't want them to worry. Also, please apologize to all hate them for me. Goodbye, you two. Oy oy. All the test subjects have been taken away. I'll have my subordinates seal the place, retrieve all documentation, and destroy the system. Are you too hurt? I brought bandages and hemostatics. Paimon's fine. <sighs> Just a little tired. Get some rest. Oh, Haytham is probably waiting for you at the entrance. Go see him when you're done here. Watch out for any of Siraj's associates who might still be in hiding. If you encounter anything you can't take care of, come find me at the Academia. Okay, you stay safe too, Sino. Let's go meet up with Al Haytham. Das ist so schwierig. Sind die jetzt wirklich schuld? Weil sie verleitet wurden zu einem vermeintlich besseren Leben. Also ich glaube, manche sind schon mit drin, so wie Janaki. The matter's settled. We can return now. Okay. Hm. I actually thought it would have been settled sooner. This took much longer than I expected. Wow. Judging by your faces, it seems like you two still have some questions. Ja, ich bin neugierig. I respect your curiosity, but I'm off the clock now. So I'm not going to field any questions. Wow. Hey, we're not your colleagues. Um, you couldn't tell that was an excuse just now? What? Are you kidding me? You're not leaving today until you explain what happened back at Siraj's secret base. Hmm. See ya. Wow. Alter. Uh, hold it right there. Are you done? Your behavior is reminding me of some other people. Stop changing the subject. <laughs> it's too much of a hassle to explain everything from the top. You know what? Come with me. Uh, uh, where to? You'll know when we get there. Okay. Wo zur Hölle bist du? Okay, zurück nach Sumeru. Ich dachte mir so, okay, wir reden, wir laufen jetzt einfach so ein bisschen durch den Wald, auf dem Weg zurück nach Sumeru. Nein, der, der gute Mann ist einfach schon komplett zurück nach Sumeru, offensichtlich nach Hause. Ah, oh, Alhaytham ist zu Hause. Ja, yeah, let's go. Is this your home? Sieht größer von innen aus als außen. Yes. <lacht> What's with you all of a sudden? Being all polite and inviting us over? Hello, Kami. Ah, you're back. Quick, come help me see if this painting's all straightened. Uh, and huh? Who are they? Wir kennen doch Kavi schon. Stop making a fuss. They're obviously guests. You're not from the academia, are you? Nö, sind wir nicht. I'm unsure she's seen you before. <gasps> You're the person from that time in that one place. Wait, what? How do you know me? Oh no, oh no, do people know that I live here? What? You're embarrassed only now of all times? Yes, yes we are, but keep that to yourselves. Please, don't tell anyone else. I keep a few books on collectives and the subconscious here at home. I'll get them. You all chat in the meantime. Sehr gerne. Uh, hey! Hey! You're leaving just like that? What's the deal, I'll hate them? Uh, 
Mm. Ah. Sorry, I know we've only just met, but I have to ask. Are you, um... You wouldn't happen to be actors that I'll hate them hire to pretend to be his friends, would you? Oh my god. Uh, nine? Uh, what? Guess not. I've never seen him invite friends home before, so please excuse my surprise. You guys get it, right? You know, with his temperament and stuff. But aren't you his friend? Uh, I wouldn't say friends exactly. Okay, well, we used to be, but we're not anymore. Huh? Don't worry about it. My name is Kave. I'm sorry to have met you under these circumstances. Anyway, please don't say anything about me living here. You seem like you got a lot going on. So maybe some more will make Paimon shut up. Are you serious? How could you... Oh, of course. You're all Hatham's friends. What? That was a normal response. You exposed your own weakness. Still, why do you have to treat me like he does? Judging by the deafening din coming from the living room, <laughs> you all must be getting along quite well. Hmm. Entertain your own friends, why don't you? I'll leave the books here. Zunpa. Dizzy from reading. This is way too complicated. Why don't we just ask questions instead? Paima wants to know, uh... Oh, how did you know about the collective consciousness's weakness? A year ago, Siraj presented his thesis to the Grand Sage, who offhandedly asked for my opinion. I actually responded with two lines of reasoning. The first, as I've already said, was that his research was on human evolution, a subject prohibited by the academia. The second was that I thought the direction of his research was too extreme, but his approach too conservative. Wait, that's too conservative? He built such a large lab, gathered all those people, and even tried to get rid of you! One way to stabilize a collective consciousness is to remove the test subject's humanity altogether. The optimal solution to achieve collective consciousness is to focus solely on the overmind and treat the other test subjects as tools. That's way too dangerous! You're not seriously considering that, are you? Cause, uh... Whew. I'm merely stating the facts. If Siraj had done that, I would have felt his work to be just as senseless. It's impossible for any species to evolve overnight, and humans without their humanity cannot be called humans. True. That's why the academia prohibited research into human evolution. Most research of this kind tends to run contrary to evolution. Huh. Paimon gets it now. Ha! <laughs> That's rich coming from you. If humans aren't humans without their humanity, then you'll probably evolve into some other species in another decade, Oh my god, this is the lowest What about mind. you? Are you going to devolve into a fungus? At least I'd be a fungus with empathy. Sorry for eavesdropping, but what happened to you guys? Are you in trouble? Sort of. We encountered a strange researcher that had it out for us. Are you all okay? Yeah, sie haben's vor allem auf Alhaitham abgesehen, also, yeah. Huh. So that's how things went. Ah, <sighs> such is life. If only he'd known, Alhaitham could have stayed indoors today, and the whole thing could have been avoided, right? Plus, he could have helped me with the housework for once. See those books? They've been sitting there waiting for someone to sort through them for an age. If you're not gonna read them, tidy them away. They don't belong there. Uh... Uh... <sighs> Can you feel the awkwardness in the air? I hope you're aware of your lack of conversational skills. Oh, so the pot's calling the kettle black, is he? Hm. Well... Having said all that, are you okay? I'm doing quite well. Much better than that painting you're trying to hang on the wall. You... You don't understand anything. Stop criticizing my taste in decoration. Yeah, Kavi scheint wieder sauer zu sein. Paimon can't tell which of them is more problematic. 
<sighs> Let's just get this over with and leave. Ja, also eigentlich enjoy ich das gerade sehr, hier zu bleiben. Also ich, ich weiß nicht, off offensichtlich bin ich eine böse Person, aber ich bin sehr amüsiert und entertained von der Tatsache, dass die sich die ganze Zeit nur streiten vor uns. Aber ja, dass wir überhaupt noch hier sind, ist eine Neugier, Paimon. You whisper very loudly. Oh, um, yeah, Paimon's been told that. Do you have any more questions? Let Paimon think. Uh, oh, by the way, the other researchers apologize to you. They hope that you can forgive them. I bear them no ill will. More accurately, I don't really care about what they think of me. To some extent, they were also fooled by Siraj. The Matra will take this into account at their trials. Ilyas also said that he wanted to tell us the truth at Gundarvaville, but he didn't have the courage. He apologized to you too. It doesn't matter. I never considered asking him to come forward with the truth. Judging from his experiences, he's more courageous than the average person. There's no need to lay even more criticism on him. Criticizing the brave only shows how weak you yourself are. I'm going for dinner in 10 minutes, so I'll field one last question. Paimon doesn't have any more questions. How about you? Hmm. Was ist dir nicht egal, Alhaitham? question you only started investigating with the matra at the academia because you were interested in something right but after meeting siraj it didn't seem like you were interested in him or his experiment i had no interest in him personally but i was curious as to why so many people were willing to form a collective consciousness with him i now understand the reason ja, das etwas mit der derzeitigen Atmosphäre in der Akademie zu tun? Correct. The fall of the sages and the shutdown of the Akasha terminals deeply affected the academia. The fact that Suraj's project attracted so much interest despite not being approved speaks to the lack of research projects as of late. As the acting grand sage, I'll have to figure something out. In addition, what happened to Ilias is worth our attention. Reporting academic fraud was the right thing to do. He didn't deserve the outcome that he had received. Paimon understands now. Oh, you're pretty serious when it comes to work, huh? I think minimum viable seriousness is a more apt description. I'll do my best to take care of this mess until my resignation is approved. Wait, your resignation? Yes, I've already submitted my resignation to the academia. Soon, I'll resign as the acting Grand Sage and go back to being its scribe. I don't think Siraj knew about that. If he had waited just a few more days before acting, I would have already resigned. What he'd do then wouldn't have been any concern of mine. However, even without my input, his unstable model would have collapsed for some other reason, so it makes no difference. But why do you want to resign? I'm not suited to be a sage, nor do I want to be one. The official process to select the new sages is already underway. But, this process is long and takes far too much time. If I serve as acting Grand Sage for too long, the position might become permanent. That would be troublesome. This job isn't something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. Hmm, du weißt wirklich, was du willst. It's important to keep your priorities straight. Well, it's about time. You too should grab some dinner as well. Oh, now that you say that, Paimon's kind of hungry. See ya! We're gonna grab some yummies! Let's go then. Bis bald, Alhaitham. See ya. Und wieder nur ein einfaches See ya. Schön. So. The name Siraj doesn't ring a bell. Was he in your class? He isn't someone who would leave an impression, so it's expected that you don't remember him. 
I've always had a hard time appreciating the way that the academia pressures people by labeling them as geniuses. But even so, the academia can't be left to you. Or perhaps I should say that I'm delighted to see that you have a base amount of self-awareness. If the people in the academia haven't gone mad, they'd know that I'm much more suited to be a sage than you. And I suppose they'd let everyone know that your career as a sage will be as shaky as that painting. Again, that's mighty rich coming from someone about to resign. In a few days, you'll be managing files again. You'll be back at rock bottom. But my salary will likely stay the same. Wait, what? How come? Why do you get special treatment? At least I don't have to be an architectural designer who works himself to death just to get a smile from his client. Y you Oh no. I took time out of my day to clean the living room for you, and this is the thanks I get for it? I'd have been better off catching up on my work. I still have designs to finish. Make sure to pay back the rent you owe me. I'm going to buy some furniture with that, Mora. What? Are you trying to annoy me to death? The decorations you buy keep getting uglier and uglier. What's the point of having a boring wood carving in your house? You'll have to blame that on my financial freedom. Fine! Go ahead and hide behind your financial success if you want. But if we forget Mora for a second, do you have anything of true value to boast about? I think I'd have too many choices, to be honest. You, on the other hand, can you think of any redeeming features at all? Artistry, oh, wow. for sure! You don't know the first thing about interior design. Don't go off buying random furniture unless you take me with you. So I'll have to bring you along and then buy you drinks? Of course! But why would I do that? It would just be another form of a loan, and you'd have to pay me back eventually. Can't you just be nice and not ask for the Mora back? Pretending that you're not in debt is as ridiculous as pretending you're not living in someone else's home. Word will get out sooner or later. Speaking of which, your friends won't say anything, right? Tell them to keep all this a secret. There's no need to hide it so carefully. I think the truth's already out. You're such a lightweight that a few drinks at the tavern had you spilling all your beans. What? No, it can't be. Oh, nine. Ach, die beiden. Ach, krieg ich den jetzt noch mal ab? Oh nein, warte, wir sind uns gleich danach. Ich skippe den noch mal durch. So, ich habe den Dialog jetzt geskippt. Finally. Der ging dann doch ein Stück länger, als ich dachte. Und man konnte fast nichts skippen. Äh, ich hoffe, ihr hattet viel Spaß beim Zusehen. Ich fand die Story Quest von Unhaven richtig, richtig cool. Also auch richtig gut gemacht. Also, ach, es war alles so toll. Und... Also gerade jetzt die Begegnung in der Hathams Haus und alles, äh, wundervoll. Einfach nur wundervoll. Alles dran. Also ich freue mich auch auf KW, das soll ja auch irgendwann eventuell ein playable Charakter werden. Und oh, ich hoffe, vielleicht kriegt man da noch ein Hangout-Event oder so. Das wäre so toll. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet viel Spaß beim Zusehen. Ich hatte auf jeden Fall sehr viel Spaß, es zu spielen. Und wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal. Ich glaube, dann geht es dann höchstwahrscheinlich schon weiter mit der 3.5. Weiß nicht, vielleicht kommt noch was raus. Ja, aber wir sind nicht inaktiv. Danke schon. Ähm, genau, ich glaube, dann geht es weiter mit der 3.5. Ich kann mich jetzt nicht daran erinnern, dass jetzt noch ein großes Event rauskommt mit viel Story. Vielleicht seht ihr von den kleineren ein bisschen was, einen kleinen Zusammenschnitt. Oder mal so eine Folge zwischendurch. Aber mhm. dann soll es jetzt erstmal gewesen sein. Bye-bye.